hey there all you YouTube voyeurs, internet folks, it is I, the Sinister Minister, coming at you, rolling on through, big rolling turd, uh, with another road vlog, uh, this one is uh, pretty, pretty basic, pretty simple, but I just wanted to wish everybody a happy, happy, happy holiday. Whether you're celebrating Hanukkah, or Christmas, or Kwanzaa, I want you to have a nice holiday. Um, hopefully you're having a nice one. Hopefully uh, you get to spend some time with family, if you so choose. Uh, hopefully you get a few nice gifts, some nice tchotchkes. Hopefully you get to give a few tchotchkes away. I always feel around this time of the year, and I just feel that way generally. And I, I just, it, for me, it's somewhat more exciting to give than to get. Although I do like to get, uh, but I definitely like to be generous and give where I can, when I can, to whom I choose. But. So, yeah, so hopefully everybody has a great holiday. Be safe. Uh, you know, don't get into too much trouble. And, uh, yeah. I mean, can you believe it? It's like a week before Christmas. And uh, as you can see in the background, there isn't a flake of snow on the ground. But this is normal for this time of the year in northeastern Ohio. Uh, but it's always somewhat amusing when it's, it's chilly. I mean, it's like in the 40s or something. But... Yeah, no snow just yet. We usually don't get snow till like January, February. Uh, this is not uncommon. But anywho, so I thought I'd do a vlog about vlogging, so to speak, uh, or why I started vlogging, or why I even make videos, or produce videos, put videos out, and you know, hopefully get a few views. And by my numbers, that's exactly what I get, a few views. Um, I've always put videos out, usually music-related stuff, live performances, um, some silly stuff and whatnot, uh, just because, uh, you know, I feel if it you know, makes me laugh or it's entertaining, it might be so for others. Um, the main reason why I, I put, like, live videos out, or, I mean, live, uh, live performances of bands is because I know that there are a lot of areas that bands don't tour. And, you know, I'm in Cleveland. And believe it or not, you'd be surprised, but there we a lot of bands do not come around Cleveland at all. I, I've been wanting to see Korn uh, again for, holy shit, five, six, seven years. And the last time they came around was on their Greatest Hits tour when they came out with that album. So that'll give you an idea when the last time Corn rolled on through Cleveland. Um, so yeah, you know, so a lot of bands don't come here. So, you know, when they do, and if it's a band I like, you know, I'll go and I'll shoot some video and then I'll post it because who knows, there's people in other countries or far away that don't get to see those bands. And hey, you know, I, I thankfully for YouTube that there's YouTube now where you can see some live stuff. I mean, there's a lot of bands <clears throat> I'd like to see that are, you know, in other countries, that are from other countries, that the only way I can see them is by going on YouTube and, and people post local videos and stuff. So that's perfect. Um, so that's kind of one of the main reasons uh, I did all that is just, you know, uh, to give people the opportunity. You know, people get pissy because you're recording at a show, um, but, you know, it's not like I'm staring through my camera. Uh, I'm watching the show, just holding it up, basically. And, you know, again, it's, you know, it's a nice memory for myself. And, you know, again, it gives other people the opportunity to see a uh, performance they might not have otherwise seen. Um, you know, and again, I posted some silly videos and stuff, and weird stuff. But uh, I started doing the vlog thing just because, uh, I don't know. Uh, you know, I don't, uh, this, this, sadly as it is, you know, I, I really don't have a lot of friends. Um, I don't have, I really don't have, I had to venture to say any. I mean, the only person who is a, a, a pretty good friend as of recent is my singer in my band. 
um, you know, we, we get along very well, and, you know, we, we talk about, you know, all kinds of stuff, but, um, you know, I don't have any friends from years ago or anything like that, so I think, you know, in, in a sense, you know, due to my, you know, anxiety and depression issues and stuff, and, and one of the, one of the issues being that I, I, I don't get the opportunity to be, to have enough social, social engaging opportunities, um, it's not that I'm antisocial. I just don't get socially engaging opportunities. Um, you know, you can go to a concert, but you know, you're going there to see a show and it's loud and obnoxious. Um, but yeah, you know, I kind of just like to sit around and talk to people and just, uh, you know, and but you know, sometimes you want to have like a two-way conversation. Well, you know, I figured, well, fuck it. If uh, if I can't have that, at least I can have a one-way conversation with a camera, or I can at least talk to the camera. And, you know, put it online, <clears throat> put it on YouTube. And if, you know, I talk about something that, you know, other people feel you know, passionate about or, um, you know, uh, maybe, you know, I can, I mean, obviously I've told a lot of stories and a lot of, you know, current events and stuff. I mean, I'm pretty much just a regular dude. I'm voicing my opinion on uh, different topics and stuff like that, and, uh, experiences that I've had, but... Uh, I mean, it certainly gives me an opportunity to share my experiences with the whole, all seven of you that watch my videos, but nonetheless, I mean, you know, if maybe some of my uh, talking about, you know, uh, depression, depersonalization, anxiety, and how I've coped with it, and how I've helped uh, get by, get through with it, if it's helped some other people, then great, I mean, and that's all that matters, if it, if anything I've posted at all either makes somebody laugh or entertains them or helps them in any way, shape, or form, at least one person, then that's all that matters. I certainly don't do this for money. Uh, I, you know, I don't, my videos don't get that that many views, uh, at least at this point. I mean, I'd love nothing more than to, to have a very popular uh, YouTube channel and to you know, put out videos that people want to see and were willing to come back for you know basically you know it's just it's this fucking guy just you know driving along uh ranting away uh you know talking but hopefully amongst all that there's uh there's uh, some pearls i can uh you know provide and stuff like that but yeah it's been somewhat therapeutic i guess to just talk and rant and, and whatnot and get things off your chest and and all that, so I mean, there's no, like I said, I, I didn't start doing this because in my mind it was, uh, oh, I want to make money on YouTube like a lot of people do, turned uh, YouTube into a career, which I personally don't believe that YouTube is a career, I don't think that you should make YouTube a career because I can guarantee you it's not going to be there forever, and when it does go away or the next best thing comes along, and you, you know, and that's all you've done or that's all you've been doing, you know. Sure, it might give you an opportunity to get a job somewhere else in production or something, but, um, you know, I just don't look at YouTube as a full-on career. Uh, a lot of people would argue with me about that, but I've actually, I, I run a business that I've been doing for 10 years that uh, it's an original business that we came up with the idea, created it, and have seen it through uh, tough times and good times and all that stuff and and watch the business become successful uh, but again putting a lot of hard work and originality into it you know uh, that that to me is a career that's a business uh, YouTube being a uh, you know a guy putting up videos on YouTube it's not really a business especially if you're not uh, putting any real production in your videos um, you know I've always said it guys like Angry Joe who makes uh, you know videos about video games? He puts you know a, 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 a good amount of production, especially in his reviews and stuff. And you know, and I can only imagine it takes some days, if not weeks, to put some of those together. And that's a lot of work. And then he puts out a, a quality product and deserves uh, to get you know uh, ad revenues and stuff because he's putting a lot of effort into. He's very creative. And, and gets it done while as other people just sit in front of a thing kind of like what I'm doing and think that that's going to make them a million dollars. I don't think that could happen. I'm not opposed to it. 
uh, certainly by any means. Um, but I don't do this for any sort of any sense of money. I haven't made one penny off this, and I do have my ad sense and my ads turned on. But yeah, I just don't get the views that would probably facilitate it. Nor do I have the subscribers. I mean, I only have uh, like 320 some 22 subscribers. Um, actually, I think I had 323, and I think somebody unsubscribed. Can you believe it? Uh, so yeah, I think I'm just hovering around 322. Uh, so that's that's insignificant uh, times a thousand on YouTube. I mean, maybe if I was a hot chick doing silly shit or or something, I don't know, or you know, whatever. Uh, you know, may I'd have more. I mean, I'm not. I don't do any clickbait. I don't do any of that shit. I mean, it is what it is. If you're interested in seeing uh, a pretty uh, dapper individual uh, talk about current events and just give his general opinion on things, and which you might agree with, you might not agree with, that's me. Uh, eventually, I'll 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 try to. You know, I'm trying to come into my own with an overall, I guess, theme to my channel, but I don't really have one as of yet. I just put out a video, you know, like a top 10 video of, uh, what they don't tell you about being a parent, you know, cause I, I, you know, and I probably could have produced it better, but I mean, I did the best I could, uh, with the equipment that I have and, uh, and the time because time's a factor. Don't forget. I do run a business and I, I have a new child and that keeps me, uh, keeps me hopping. But, um, yeah, so, but yeah, the, the video, the vlog thing for sure is very much more therapeutic and and whatnot. Again, it's, you know, I don't get a lot of views, so I, you know, I don't, I get some comments, I don't get a lot, I don't get a lot of replication or, uh, you know, or response to what I'm putting out there. Um, it's weird what people will watch. I mean, some of my videos have thousands of hits and, and, a lot of my vlogs don't have more than 10. <laughs> and But of course, I don't put a lot of effort into producing the vlogs because it's just me talking. I may do a little bit of editing. And uh, yeah, I put them up and that's that. And you can watch them or not. I mean, people, people watch the silliest videos. So I can't, you know, I don't cl declassify mine as being uh, not worth watching. But there's certainly uh, there's certainly some inherent value there. I think. Uh, well, I know. What am I saying? I think I definitely know there is. Uh, you know, and of course, with the new year, I'm gonna try to be more creative and think of new things to do, and maybe try to dial in a um, an overall uh, theme to my channel. We'll see what happens. Film and video editing is definitely where I've. Uh, really gotten into uh i have i uh yeah i'm trying to do more with it um you know i have a green screen that i can sort of use I, I i got for my business and i use that primarily for my business um making vlogs for for my business but um which aren't on my channel which aren't on this channel but uh yeah i, I you know I, I, time and knowledge, and but more so time, the ability to, uh, you know, go through um, and try different things and see what happens and effects and stuff. I mean, that's what will make a good video, but that takes a lot of time. I've, I've come to realize, I mean, it takes, you know, you can have a 20-minute video and it could take you a whole day of editing that video. Um, you, you know, even though it's, when it's all said and done, it'll just be like a 10 minute, 20 minute video, depending. But again, I'm, you know, I'm not saying I'm anything I'm not, I'm just doing what I'm doing. And if, and if, uh, there's an inherent value there that people enjoy, that's great. Um, yeah. So, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I probably kind of re, re rambled and stuff cause I'm just, I'm zoned out on the freeway. But, uh, yeah, have yourselves a merry little Christmas. But have yourselves a wonderful Hanukkah. Hanukkah? Han Hanukkah? Uh, and a Kwanzaa, too. I, uh, yeah, I, the Kwanzaa thing's pretty silly, but 
if you celebrate Kwanzaa, uh, by all means, happy Kwanzaa, uh, or, you know, or whatever, uh, what, I'm sure there's, like I said, I'm sure there's some other, uh, re- religions, different religions, and different celebrations going on around this time of the year, but nonetheless, um, hope everybody has a safe, safe, hey, have a safe, have a safe and happy Christmas holiday time, and, you know, hope you get a lot of stuff, hope you give a lot of stuff, hope you get to eat some good food and get to chill out and not, uh, not have to work, because uh, that's always nice, but anyways, I think I'm done rambling, plus I'm almost at my destination. Uh, This has been the Sinister Minister. You have been wonderful. And take it easy. Keep it sleazy, even around the holidays. Definitely keep it sleazy around the holidays. It's the only way to get through them sometimes. You got to take it easy and keep it sleazy. If you don't know what that means, send me a message and I'll explain it to you. And we'll see you the next time I turn this camera on and push record.